Hi there, my name is Kate with Beautiful Light Home. And today I just wanted to talk very briefly about how I am livening up our circle time. So I'm here in our living room, which also acts as our school room. And I just finished circle time. In fact, I just finished recording circle time and I'm going to post that for everybody. Um, we've been doing circle time now for about three years. My son is six and my daughter is four. They both still kind of qualify as that preschool um, kindergarten range. So circle time's big for both of those. In fact, a warm up period is big for Waldorf education throughout all grades, all the way up through 12th grade. So I noticed that um, circle time sometimes gets a little bit stale. So I wanted to liven it up a little bit. Um, since we have been doing it for three years, I change our um, different songs and rhymes and all of our things that we do every month. But still, I mean, like our, our October ones are some of our favorite because they're all Halloween based, but I still notice like things get stale a little bit. So here's some things that I've done to liven up our circle time routine. So first of all, every day we still do a song or some sort of rhythm around the days of the week and around the months of the year. And I have, instead of just doing the same song every day for both of them, what I've done now is sometimes we do clapping games to them. Um, like sometimes today, for instance, I said like, okay, for the days of the week, we're gonna clap high and then we're gonna clap low. So this way we get their bodies doing something different. Um, I also have changed it up to kind of be a game. Like today, for instance, when I did the months of the year, instead of singing a song for it, I would point to somebody and they'd have to tell me what month comes next. So it's a little bit more fun. It's a little bit more of a challenge. And I find my kids have really liked kind of spicing it up a little bit. So you just have to remember what's the purpose of, of circle time. And the purpose of circle time is to really waken our body, waken our mind, and waken our soul. So that this way we can get started and have a really great day together for school. So it also serves as a great opportunity to introduce some rhyming, some counting, different activities like that. So th with that in mind, one of the things that I've done is I've added games to the end of each of our circle times. So we'll do things like um, mother may I, which is a really great opportunity to unconsciously really bring numbers to the forefront. So we'll talk about like, you could take two steps or no, you may not things like that. Like they, we change up the, the numbers and everything like that. We've done Simon says, um, today we did one where I had two sticks and they had to, it's called jumping the river and they had to jump over the river. And then each time they have successfully made it to the other side, I widen the river a little bit. And it's just a fun game to get their blood flowing, get their brain moving, get their, um, their souls livened and just really try to have like a good mind, body, soul connection. So, um, those are a few of the things that I've done. So if if your circle time is becoming stale, just words of wisdom for you. Try to liven it up a little bit. Try to see if there's any old school games you can bring into it. I'm gonna be bringing jump rope into mine. Um, we'll be doing different hand clapping games, things like Miss Mary Mac. And um, as they get older, those can progress to be a little bit um, more comp complex. But for now, little things like Miss Mary Mac and different counting games and rhythm games are great. To just to spice it up and um, this way the kids don't really know what's coming next. Um, you can even, for me, what I like to do is write down a list of like, here's all our different options, like brainstorm, come up with, here's a plan of all different options. And then that morning I could just wake up and say, okay, this is the one we'll do today. So I know this is kind of like a shaky little video. My kids are off doing free play in the other room. I just wanted to come on here real quick and give you some ideas of how you can liven your circle time. If you're interested in more information on circle time, I do on my channel, Beautiful Light Home, I do have a video all about how I set up my circle time. Um, I have one video all about our May circle time, and then I just recorded one today for our October circle time, so that'll be going up as well, um, just so you can see what it looks like and what we do. 
Um, and yeah, if you're interested on more ways on how you can bring Waldorf education into your home, uh, check out my channel at Beautiful Light Home and you can like this video and subscribe. And you can also head on over to my Instagram, which is at Beautiful Light Home, or you can head to my blog. I have a website, which is beautifullighthome.com, where I share more information on my blog um, about things that we have going on. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm so glad that you can come and hang out with me today for a few minutes. Have a great day. Bye.